What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how I can take custom mocap data that I did in the Rococo suit, bring that into iClone with a character that I made in Character Creator and get everything all rigged up. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, this is a character that I made in Character Creator 3. This is actually me. I used a plug-in headshot, which I have right here. All I did was drag my photo in here, which I do have a tutorial on, but I have my character here in Character Creator 3. I'm happy with how this turned out so far. So the next step from here is I want to take this character into iClone so that I can apply some animation to it. So in order to do that, I'm going to come up to file and then I'm going to come down to export. And right here, you can see that it says send character to iClone. So I want to make sure that I have iClone already opened up, which I do. So I'm going to go to export send character to iClone. I'm going to click on this. And then if I come over to iClone, you can see that it's loading the stream. So this is just going to take a few minutes here. And there we go. Now I have my character inside of iClone. If I pull in a little bit, you can see that I have my character in here. He looks nice and good. He's in T-Pose. And so the next step from here is I'm going to go into Rococo Studio, which I already have some mocap data that I already did just a few minutes ago. So if I come over here, and this is Rococo Studio, and you can see I have my mocap suit still rigged up and everything here. You see my head movements and my arm movements. I did some mocap data a little bit ago. So if I click right here where it says scene one, I'm gonna to go to take one, and then I'm just gonna pull up what I did. So I did like some hip hop array, you know, naughty by nature in there, just waving my hands back and forth, just something really simple in there. And then I'm just gonna export that out. And so a quick tip is, if I scroll over here where it says segment, this is where I have my ins and outs set up at. So shout out to Don Allen. He showed me how to do this. So actually, if you hold down the shift key, now it lights this up. That means that you can actually bring in like your segment of what you want to export. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and maybe drag this over a little bit as well. So let's say around there. So if I come over into my timeline here, go back to the beginning, just click play. And then it's going to start right there pretty much. Actually, I can move this over a tad bit more. So I'm going to click and drag it right to where I have my hands up. Somewhere around there. So I'm going to export this out to my desktop. So in order to do that, we could do it one of two ways. I can either right click on my take here and click export. Or if I look down here in the lower right hand corner, I could click export here. And this brings up our export menu, which everything is set up the way that I want it. And so I'm going to do a format of an FBX. I'm going to leave body skeleton checked on. I don't have facial animations or anything for my FBX settings. I'm going to go binary. I'm going to go FBX 2016, which is the highest you could go right now. And then for my skeleton, this is important here. Now I'm going with the Maya rig. I noticed that when I used the other rigs to get this all set up, it wasn't coming over properly. And so just doing some testing, I found that if I used the Maya rig and brought that over, everything comes over pretty clean. And so I'm going to keep this on the Maya rig. I'm going to mimic hierarchy and then I'm just going to click on my desktop here where I want to save it. Click OK. And then I'm going to click export. Wait for this to send out. So I know a lot of you are asking, why am I not using the live link from Rococo Studio to iClone? Because they do offer that. But the reason that I like exporting my stuff out of Rococo Studio is because if I'm doing like a complex animation that needs some cleanup, it has a lot of cool cleanup tools inside of Rococo Studio. I can clean up my animations and then just export out the FBX and then import. So if you do like a live link, a lot of times what you see is what you get and there's not a lot of room for cleanup. So this is the reason I like doing it manually like this. So I have everything exported. I can actually close this out. And then the next thing we want to open up here is we want to open up iClone 3D Exchange, which I'm using iClone 3D Exchange 7. And I'm going to bring my mocap data into here. So let me come down to Windows Explorer, go to my desktop. I'm going to find a folder that has my mocap data right here. So it's just named Take One Human IK. So I'm going to click and drag this into my scene here, which is just an FBX file. And then everything that's here, I'm just going to leave everything checked here. Leave it at 60 samples per second. Smooth curve. I'm just going to click OK. And now we have our skeletal rig in here, in which if I come over here on my right hand side, I'm going to just click and drag this up until I come to animation. And then you'll see I have my FBX file here. So I want to click on this and this will open up the play button here at the bottom. So if I click on play, now we can see our skeletal rig is playing and everything. But if you notice, if I come over here, 
we have this little gray button that says apply to iClone, but it's all grayed out. Like we can't click on it. And that's because we just have to do one little conversion here, which is easy. So I'm going to make sure that I have this selected and then I'm going to scroll up until I see convert to non-standard. So I'm going to click on this right here. And this is going to bring up this little skeletal system in the upper right hand corner. So under presets, I'm going to click on custom and come down to Maya human IK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on active and then I'm just going to leave it where it says T pose. I'm not going to click anything else here. The next step from here is I'm just going to click convert. And then now it's telling you that auto files in the motion library have been updated. Please select apply to iClone to see your data. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to make sure under my animation tab here, make sure this is selected. And then now you see that this isn't grayed out. We can actually select it now. But before we click apply to iClone, we want to make sure we go into iClone and make sure that our character is selected so they can properly bring this information over. So I'm just going to come back over to iClone real quick and make sure my character is selected. And what you'll see this yellow box, that means you have it selected here. So now I could go back over to 3D Exchange, apply to iClone click on this and now it should be connected to our character so if I come down here where we have our play button if I click play there we go now we have the animation on our character everything is working one-to-one -one. it looks really clean you can even see my knees moving my feet and all that stuff so this is exactly the steps that I take whenever I want to apply my custom animation from my Rococo suit to my character creator studio using iClone now, I know I had a couple of people out there asking me the steps that I take to get this done. This is exactly how I do it. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see me do some more iClone stuff. I've been using it for a little bit now. It's been a ton of fun. So the more I experiment, the more comfortable I get. And I'm just going to keep sharing the information with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch the updates. And until next time, stay fresh. Keep creating and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Make sure you give me a thumbs up.